We've got one uncertainty removed. I'm sure tomorrow we'll wake up to another list of headline risks that we're watching, but so far so good. We're watching for fundamentals and they're coming in really strong. Tech continues to lead the market. You've got a breadth of leadership. You have over 55% of uh, stocks that are comprising the tech, outperforming the broader market. You've got over 60% of industries that are leading. So the breadth of the market continues to be strong. And NASDAQ, while it's weaker today, it's up over 10% year to date. So, um, so far, so good. Uh, so at this point, you would not be looking to fade. I'm looking at your top holdings here, Amazon among them, Alphabet, Visa, uh, Coke, and Disney, of course, which we'll get tonight. Yes, um, I think what's important is somewhere along the way, we've sort of been preconditioned that you could get exposure to the overall tech space by just investing in three or four different stocks. Call it FANG, call it MAGA, whatever you want to call it. But the market is comprised of so many more securities than that. There are hundreds of securities within the tech space. There are hundreds of securities within other areas of the market. And our focus growth strategies, which does have exposure to growthier areas of the market, we are investing in nine out of 11 sectors. We have over 30 securities. So there's plenty of growth to be had, and it doesn't have to come from just one or two individual names. Stock-specific stories matter again, and that's what we're focusing on. Larry, split Congress, is that going to be good for tech or bad? Uh, I'm not uh, nearly as much uh, concerned about uh, domestic uh, politics as I am uh, the foreign uh, geopolitical situation, especially with regard to tech. Uh, as the previous speaker said, the, the, the fundamentals look absolutely terrific. Uh, but trouble always starts at the margin, and I think the margin uh, is not within uh, this continent. Uh, the margin is in China. And I'll, I'll give you three things that I find uh, troubling. One uh, was the decimation that took place in the uh, Macau stocks uh, yesterday. And uh, the reason was that the well-off people in China uh, are likely to uh, be visiting less. Uh, the, uh, the, the second thing is the relentlessly bad action in Tencent, which is a major global uh, tech company and frankly one of the best managed companies I've ever seen. And uh, Tencent uh, uh, is now continually under pressure uh, by the government who is slowing down their development of games. And uh, the third thing, I was troubled when I woke, uh, uh, woke up and read the Wall Street Journal and uh, listened to Hank Paulson suggesting uh, being cautious in, in China. So far the numbers look good. but. Uh, the, the runway has to be clear, and uh, if, uh, if we can't solve the problems with China, and we're looking, I'm looking forward to the uh, summit between uh, Z, uh, Z and uh, Trump, or the, uh, the meeting that's uh, likely to take place uh, later on this month at the, uh, at the G20, uh, I think it's going to be hard for multiples to improve. And bull markets right. are, are about earnings, but they're more about multiples. And I think the thing that's at risk here is the multiple. Yana, I want to go back to a point that you were making about tech being more than a few big names. I wonder uh, what size you think is, is perhaps the most overlooked. There are lots of mid-cap tech stocks, a lot of upstarts that are trying to build, make a name for themselves, maybe working in AI or, or certain cloud areas. Some of them have been getting bought up. Which of those, maybe by sector or even some specific names, do you find most interesting? Uh, there are a lot of interesting stories, and I'm glad you brought that up. I think uh, within tech specifically, um, and communication services just post the split, um, there are a lot of names within interactive media. There are a lot of names within security, um, software. Um, and again, I guess I would uh, continue to focus on the individual stock-specific stories that allow you to really ride the wave of long-term secular growth. Uh, when you talk about AI, we're just in the beginning stage. When we talk about um, digital advertising, while we've done a lot of work, there's still a move toward more eyeballs online. When you talk about e-commerce, less than 10% of global spend is spent on, um, on Internet. So those uh, stories do not change overnight, and there are plenty of companies that continue to benefit from those uh, cyclical and secular shifts that will allow them to continue to, to gain greater market share and therefore do 
well, irrespective of the backdrop um, and irrespective of all the headlines that we talked about. The currency risk, China risk, uh, cost of doing business, that's not going to go away. So what we're looking for is organic growth stories that are propelled by these secular growth tailwinds right. that we think are, are going to be with us for years to come.